Hey guys, this is Natalie with For the Love of Lucy. I actually videoed this two nights ago, or maybe three, yeah, two nights ago on Tuesday when I did their complete cage clean, and I made the girls some new fleece. That's their little Heidi, or their little cuddle cup I made, and they like it when I put it in the fleece forest. But the new cage liners, the polka dots, and the one that was on the next level, Little Lucy, I made um, the same day I did this for them because they were needing some new ones. So one side has the green polka dots on it, and the other side has <coughs> the pink um, floral on it that's on the top floor. So I just flipped it over. So I'm just going to voice over this because while I was videotaping this, the girls actually started doing some really cute stuff. So I thought I would just talk to you a little bit while we watch them kind of play around and popcorn and check all the new stuff out. And you can kind of see how they act with each other and all that good stuff. But you can see here I'm going to flip it over. So you can see that side is the pink. And then that side's the green polka dot. But what I really kind of wanted to talk about is hay. Because we're kind of having an issue with it right now. And I see a lot of videos... Where people will say, well, we're out of hay right now, but, you know, tomorrow we're going to the store or it should be coming in soon. And the thing that's really bothersome about this is guinea pigs have to have hay 24-7. Look, they're checking out their little stuffed animal blanket. They're so cute. Um, it's the only thing that really keeps their teeth ground down. Even if they're chewing on wood chews and all that, there's something in hay. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I can look it up and put it in the description bottom. But it's only in hay. It's not in wood or anything like that. And it's that particular um, I don't know, like mineral or whatever it is is what keeps their teeth ground down. So it is, you, I would rather someone run out of pellets or veggies before they run out of hay. So with that being said, I live in Hawaii, so I have our hay scent here. And I actually do it through, oh, she's going to, the little Scarlet's going to jump up there and check out the new corner hut I made. I make those little corner hooks that she's going into and they fit perfectly in the corner to where your little guinea pigs can't get behind them and hide their little <coughs> and boops. Oh, she's going to try to sit on top of it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, so um, I have Amazon Prime and I subscribe to their subscribe and save which I highly recommend and first thing to add I'm not advertising this for any company or Amazon or anything I'm just telling you what I do and on that prime like if you order five things a month you save 15 percent so we have a dog buddy we have two cats and we have four guinea pigs and we feed them all good food and I order all of their food and hay on Amazon. But when I start on the subscribe and save, so it comes every month, you pick a date. I have mine set for the 24th only because I will go ahead and tell you this because this was kind of a lesson I learned. I was thinking that we're military, so we get paid the 1st and the 15th of every month. So I was like, well, I'll just have it on the 15th. And I'll put the 15th, and that's when they'll charge my account, and that's when they'll ship it out. That is not the case. The 15th is the day that it will arrive at your house. 
So they were actually charging my account a week before that, actually, because I live in Hawaii. So I changed mine to the 24th, and it's working out that it's coming out on the 15th, 16th, or 17th, or right around there. And I usually get them sometimes. It doesn't all come together. Each individual product is, is sent and taken out of your account as they send it. Because Amazon does not charge you for a product that you order and after it ships to you. So, like, Buddy's food is supposed to get here tomorrow. And, you know, that's not the 24th, but it's fine. Anyway, so... The thing was, I order their hay, um, I get small pets hay, and it's the best stuff in the world, and my girls love it, and it comes on the 24th every month, but when I first started doing it, I did t a 10-pound box, and it lasted longer than the month, so I went in and I changed my subscribe and save to give me an 8-pound box. Well, I don't know if my girls were just kind of having an off month or whatever. And then this month, they had a full-blown. But we ran out of hay. Anyway, so... And, um, uh, sometimes, if it's not too close to them already shipping it out, you can go into your subscribe and save and hit, um, I need this now. And they'll go ahead and ship it out now if you need it sooner. Unfortunately, my hay order was already being processed, so I couldn't do that. So that made me have to go to the pet store and just grab a bag of their hay. <coughs> and my girls hate it. <laughs> They're doing more wasting with it. It's the hay that you see them throughout the video chewing on the chew ball. You can see it's not even green anymore. It's really hard. It's just like this brownish color, and they do not like it. Bless their hearts. They keep looking at me like, what did we do wrong? Why are we being punished? But it's what we have right now. So I went on and changed my subscribe and save back to the 10-pound box, and um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to keep going through the 10 pounds because I think I told you in a previous video I had been having trouble with my girls. They won't eat their hay very well from hay bags. Um, they don't do it really well from the using a CNC um, square bent as a hay rack. They don't eat from there very well. But the box and the hay ball that you see, they absolutely love. They will eat hay and eat hay and eat hay in that. So we're just going to keep doing that and they're much healthier and I know they will be so glad when their box of hay gets here, which I checked on my order this morning, and it looks like it should be here on Monday. So, point to this was, please, please, please don't let your guinea pigs run out of hay. And it's really worth investing some money in good hay because that is like 80% of their diet. So, they're eating more of that than anything, and... Like, for this 10-pound bag or box, I pay $20, $28 for a 10-pound box. And when it comes next Monday, I will take pictures of it and show you the hay they have now next to what comes in this box. And because it's subscribe and save, I get free shipping. So, it's $28 for a month. And it is good, good hay. So, don't run out of hay. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any requests or need to know anything, please don't hesitate to ask me. And please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and you would like me to keep making them. Bye-bye from all the miss you animals.